the heck are you? Pretty, pretty damn good. Thanks for asking. Well, I feel pretty good tonight because I saw my brothers this last week. I got seven of them, and um, well, I guess I realize that men are pretty much pigs, and I hate to admit it, but I think you women will realize it. You'll admit it if I ask you, men are pigs, right? Yeah, yeah it's just too damn bad we own everything. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm kidding. I think I hurt myself just then. No, my mom called us pigs, little kids. She said, you're little pigs. All you do is shit and eat. That's all you do. Don't speak to me. Grunt like the pigs you are. She figured men should just speak like that. All you need is three things, according to my mom. You don't think your old man grunts? You give him a thick steak. You like that, honey? <laughs> you want more butter or is that the milk? Ah! My mom said the only reason men are alive is for lawn care and vehicle maintenance. Think about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know it's true. This year I bought my first lawn tractor. Thank you. Yeah, I got the John Deere 160. Yeah. 11 horse twin cylinder hydrostatic drive. Yeah. 42 inch blade rear bagger. Yeah. Headlights in case I want to mow that fucker at night, I guess. I have that option. Why do they put them on there? And then they deliver it. And all my neighbors are nosy. They're out there looking at it, you know, six guys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the sorry thing is, I understood him, and it bothered me for a while, but, you know, you got to live with this kind of stuff. Guys. My mom said, you just, to be a man, you got to know how to deal with Sears. I love Sears. Oh, yeah. I go in that craftsman tool department, my genitals start to swell. <laughs> Yeah, bright, shiny craftsman tools, lifetime guarantee. Don't get any better than this, man. Yeah. And I'm buying shit I don't even need now, you know. Money's rolling in and shit. I got a gear puller. Well, I don't know what it is. I don't know. 1188 looks good on that pegboard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That there's the altar to a man. Oh, look at that. 3,800 bucks you'll never touch. Who cares? The trouble I have is late at night, I like my liquor, watch this hotel room, that home shopping thing. Boy, I see tools from hell, folks, tools from hell. Guy came on and said, eliminate the worry of sharpening scissors at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's forget about Ethiopia for a minute. Yeah. Here's a major problem. <laughs> I bought it. Yeah. 88 bucks, boy, I had that Ren 2000 delivered, yeah. I heard the UPS truck coming, I love that thing. Ooh. Oh. Ah. We smell each other's butts, he gives me the box. Manly thing. I love boxes. You open them real slow. You get, you get that new machine smell. <laughs> that should be a cologne for men, craftsman number five. Tim, you smell like a vice grip. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. And what do you do? You got all that styrofoam packing, that popcorn. I save it. Yeah. Looks too valuable. I save it, bring it up fourth quarter, real boring football game. These old drunk friends of mine, they don't know what they're eating. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, has this been out a while? Next day, they're all shitting coolers, Jesus. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, cut it out, leave me alone. Instructions, you gotta read instructions. Women never read instructions, they're too smart. You could order a nuclear reactor for your home. I think I could figure it out, honey. <laughs> well, I think I fucked something up. Here, you deal with it now. Oh, yeah. Well, I get my Ren 2000 out of the old box. It says attach firmly to your workbench. Use the adjustable suction cup legs. Uh-huh. I don't have a workbench. 
But I think we all know where I'm gonna get one, don't we? <laughs> Sears, you're damn right. Yeah. There's more for your life at Sears. Damn right. Yeah, I popped out to Sears, got the 164 cubic against workbench shop made area. Yeah. 12 foot, 300 pound bench in a box this big. Uh -huh. Those three words I hate to see, some assembly required. Oh, no. You can hurt yourself, but I don't have any tools. So I think you all know where I went. Yeah, Sears, you're goddamn right, Sears, boy. There's more for your fucking life at Sears, man. Boy, I bought some tools that day. Yeah. I had to rent a rider truck. Boy, I backed up to Sears and I bought some fucking tools, boy. I got needle nose crescent monkey motherfuckers, boy. I got ratchet driving three quarters, socket flexible head steel tube and chrome molly jig, circular script crut cross cut, fuck you up. Ah, 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 ah. I got tools that fix tools, boy. I got every goddamn tool they make. And I have plenty of duct tape. Yeah. If you can't fix it, duck it. Cured that little problem with the dog right away. Uh, 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 uh. Best tool I bought was that big cowhide belt, that big goddamn thing. Carry all your tools around. Uh, uh, uh. Two cordless drills hanging low, boy. Walk around the house like a gunslinger. Come on, bitch, break something. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, she's always pissed. That woman's always pissed. Because I got to go to the kitchen to get shit, you know? I show her, I barter for food, I bring her something. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Did you walk on that floor? Huh? Did you walk on the kitchen floor? Uh -huh. Everywhere you go, you make the goddamn house dirty. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do. That's how I mark territory, honey. <laughs> Better than peeing on the couch when you put it like that. You're home all day. Why don't you clean the goddamn house for once? Ah. I've never used that vacuum, boy. There's no suction that. <laughs> Same bobby pin. <laughs> never think of picking a little asshole up, no. I'm thinking to myself, if that thing just had a bit more power. <laughs> so I rewired it. I had an old Buick V6 out in the garage. Yeah, yeah I got a 135 horse riding rear bag in Eureka. <laughs> That baby will suck the eyes out of a parrot, man. And no wonder women are all peed off, man. They gotta do all that bullshit work. Dusting, that bullshit moving, that bric-a-brac. <coughs> Better way, boy. Duct tape the small shit down. Fire up that leaf blower. Yeah. You can always piss them off. You don't do it a woman's way, you're fucked. You can't do it right, boy. Nothing in that house, boy. She wants to be, wants to dish, dishwasher, dish, dishwasher. 820 bucks, got a Maytag dishwasher, digital goddamn pot scrubbing goddamn thing, you know? I gotta put a dish in there. She goes, what are you doing? I'm putting a dish in the dishwasher. You can't put a dirty dish in a dishwasher. How silly of me not to have known that. You gotta wash it first and then put it in there. Yeah, and I gotta wipe my ass and take a shit right after this. Why bother? You can't even wash them right. She won't even let me wash the dishes. I do it by hand, she gets mad. Now what are you doing? I'm just gonna wash it by hand. Well, that pad right there is only for Silverstone. How silly of me not to have noticed that. And that's for stainless steel. <laughs> How about I whip out my orbital sander? <laughs> Take off that gay little pattern while I'm at it. <laughs> Goodbye, roses. <laughs> <laughs> and she can never find stuff. Never find stuff, so I gotta go look for it. She wants to make this stew she wants. I'm gonna make that stew your mom makes. 
Where's your crock pot? I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen that in eight years. I don't know where it is. Well, go look in the attic. Ah. I go up in the attic, I find it. That son of a bitch was still on. You know, honey, I think that chili's about ready. Boy, have you been a nice crowd to me. I'm Tim Allen. Thank you all very much.